Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So for those who have been following our channel, you would see that we have actually stocked shrimps in the bioflock system where the water have been previously used to culture crab. This was a study to examine the behavior of shrimps when utilizing contaminated water and we could see how bioflock could improve the culture in a whole. So in this video, we will be looking at some of the shrimp growth and some of the water parameters in our tank over here. So here we're just about to do some sampling of our shrimps. As you can see, they all range between 0.7 to about 1.1 grams. So generally speaking, our shrimps look quite active and the feeding rate is okay, although we have been slightly under feeding to prevent over pollution. And in this system, we, we also did not change water for the past two weeks. So it's been a fully recycling system. The average body size that we have gotten from this result is 0.73 grams which is quite fast considering that the water level is not at its fullest so meaning the stocking density it is quite high as well. So over here we'll be doing some water quality measurement mainly dissolved oxygen, ammonia, NO2, pH and alkalinity. This is to demonstrate the current levels of our water quality in our current systems having not ch changing water for two weeks so the test kit over here measures total ammonia nitrogen so it basically measures the amount of ammonia in the water level and based on our results uh, for the past two weeks we actually did not get any ammonia spike for the past two weeks in this system we did not actually run our filtration systems every day we are running it every two days because at the moment we do not see excessive flock buildup this test kit over here measures the amount of NO2 in the system. So NO2 is a problem especially when you're culturing fish and it's not and it's a bit problematic for late stages bioflock but in this uh, in our current setup it is still okay values are getting as still quite low. We are also measuring uh, pH in this uh, culture system. So as you can see, we're using the standard uh, chemical indicators. So the color over here uh, is about 8 to 8.5. So it's pretty good as well. And here over here, we are doing an alkalinity test kit uh, using methyl orange titration technique. So this is to, amount, to measure the amount of alkalinity in the system. So alkalinity is important, uh, important aspect to maintain uh, good uh, and healthy tanks so that the bacteria have enough alkalinity to perform nitrification or even heterotrophic assimilation. So based on the results uh, that we have over here, uh, we are actually getting uh, alkalinity of 200 ppm, pH about 8.5, NO2 and ammonia all remain zero, and dissolved oxygen it has uh, 4 ppm, which is actually quite healthy considering uh, we did not change water for the past two weeks. So that's all for today. If you like our content, do like and subscribe and we hope to see you again.